this is Bones Badookie tonight, and that boy is a 7 foot 235 cornerback, and he is different. The Bones Badookie tonight is known for laying that BAM all night. Being the youngest brother, all of the Badookie brothers had all picked on him, but now look at him. He's the biggest Badookie brother that's out, and his dad has always said, son, you are gifted. Just look at your size. The Bones Badookie tonight has zero offers going into his senior year. He has to prove these college coaches wrong. On it to Bones Badookie tonight first game. Oh my God, what is he doing on the ground? He has to get back up and retaliate. Here's you can see on the next play on first and 10, it was no fly zone going Bones Badookie that ninth way, but Derek Badookie Jr. played for IMG Academy and Bones Badookie wanted to take the same route. When I tell you IMG win championships, they win championships. And as you can see, he lays a big tackle, but on third and nine, he was sitting in man to man, but clamped it up and dropped the ball. Come on, Bones Badookie the ninth. But on second and 12, oh my God, he will get that interception and he sees that IMG in zone and die. For a six, and he was fired up. But we're going to win the first ball game. He is now a one star recruit and gets a couple interest offers from UNLV, San Jose State, and Nevada. Going into Bones Paducah tonight, the next game against Hanford. Just look at the athletic system as he go all the way across the field and make the tackle. But as you can see on third and six, he, was, he wasn't even in his zone, but he intercepted that ball. And as you can see, he will get loose. He might be seven foot, but he got some speed to him. I mean, when I say he was fired up, that boy was turked up. But as you can see, going into the next round, second. And then one, I was sitting in there. Ow, that was supposed to be an interception, but he just didn't connect with the ball. But as you can see on third and one, he was sitting man to man again, but he let up and let the wide receiver catch the ball. We're having zero offers, Bones Baduka tonight. That's unacceptable, but we holded them to three. I'm not going to lie, that's good for the defense. But as you can see on first and 10, I was sitting in my zone again. This quarterback really tested Bones Baduki again. And this time I went up on this wide receiver. You're too small, buddy. But as you can see, he will take it and he will get tackled. But Bones Paduki creeped down. Oh my god, he almost had another interception, but he made sure to tackle him. But on second and four, guess what? He will have another interception and he breaks loose. No, he will not. He will get brought down. And Bones was fired up. Oh my god. But he will go on to get player of the game with three interceptions. And guess what? He picked up his first two offers. And Bones picked up his first two offers. He's fired. Bam up. Oh my god. He's coming out intense. And I promise you, y'all done turk that man up. Bones Paduki tonight is going to turn up every game and as you can see he will get an interception turn around make sure to get that ball they didn't lay the block for him but he will get brought down he said yes sir this my ball <laughs> but on third and four as you can see he comes down and boom Bones Paducah tonight is raised from a great family and I mean that was supposed to be an interception right there but I mean after being picked on by all of his brothers I mean <laughs> all the anger he's taking out on this field so you better watch out but as you can see oh my god he got burned and that's not like Bones Paducah the ninth. He has to get revenge. So they put him on special teams and that boy bounced it out left side and he could and he would. Will he get gone? No, he will not. They will bring him down. The Bones went up to that wide receiver and said, you won't ever stand a chance. Bam! Against me again. I promise you won't burn me again. But on second and four, he let him get another catch, but bam! He's gonna make up for it every time. But on third and three, he's sitting a man to man, but guess what? He gets an interception and put it on his head top. He gets played the game with two interceptions and he gets a dream come true. God Scholarship offer at cornerback from Hawaii. Bones Paducah tonight is making a name for itself. After the last three games, they are talking about him on every social media site. They are saying he might just be the best Paducah to ever play the game of football. And I'm not going to lie to you. The rumors are getting believable. I mean, just look at his height. Coming out of the... This boy is 7 foot, 235 at cornerback. Why wouldn't he be the best Paducah to ever touch the game of football? But as you can see, bam! That's another big hit by Bones Paducah. And he absolutely gets stiff on but guess what he put him on the one yard line that's a way to sacrifice the football but the quarterback comes in and scores the next play but Bones in the game off with five total tackles he's a four star now and he picks up an offer from Stanford that's amazing on to our next game against 4-0 San Jose they are undefeated and it's time to take their first loss but Bone Paduca tonight let up a pretty big game and that's unacceptable but on first and ten he went and got a tackle behind the line of scrimmage but on third and five as you can see he was kind of not in his zone but he came down and bam on that that's how you flip somebody baby but on first and ten he was wasn't in his zone, but guess what? He almost had a one-hand interception. You gotta bait him sometimes. But on third and eight, as you can see, he comes down and lay a hit. Bones Baduka tonight, don't worry, baby. That interception is coming. Bam! Oh my god! He, hey, he almost hurt that kid right there. But on first and ten, he comes down and lay another big hit. He is not playing. No wonder his name is B. 
bounds. But he let up a touchdown, but he absolutely hit him in the end zone. But on second and four, he went and laid another tackle behind a line of scrimmage. And on first and ten, he will hawk this running back down and tackle him. But they go on to beat us. We take our first loss, and he ends the game off with ten total tackles, but he gets an offer from Alabama, LSU, and Washington. Oh, my God. Being that all his brothers had went to big SEC schools, you kind of seen this coming. The Bones, Badooka, and I be ready for these offers to come in. On into our next game against 1-4 Carson. This running back had some nerve to stiff arm Bones, Badooka, and Knight, and we let up three points to let them get the field goal. This game is going to be different. But as you can see on first and 10, I told them, boys, you're not catching nothing else, and you're not getting any more points. But stand in my zone and pull get that ball out of your hands. You don't deserve it. On into the next one. First and 10, this wide receiver ran the slowest route in history, and I let him catch it. Come on, Bones, Badooka, the Knight. But as you can see, we were going to win another game, and Bones pick up another offer from Oregon Ducks. On into our next game against 0-6 La Pente. We are going to treat you guys as such. And Bones Baduki the ninth picks that ball off the first play of the game and got up and said, this is my ball, fellas. But on first and 10, he soon as hey, that boy better drop that ball. He heard them footsteps. Boom! I'm like, oh, well, he didn't lay the boom. He kind of stumbled over himself and got a little too ahead of himself. But on first and 10, he, you know what? Boom! There it is. There goes that boom. And he got up and looked him down. That is disrespectful. Backfold. On the next play, he had a zone, but he blitzed and shoestring this running back. Yes, sir. But on third and 17, he had a zone. He wasn't in it, but he boomed him and made sure he got nowhere. But on first and 10, he came all the way across the field and laid a tackle on the running back. Look at that athleticism. But on third and four, they had a screen play and ball. Bam. He wasn't going for it, fellas, but we still somehow, some way going and lose the ball game. But Bones by Duke at that ninth picks up an offer from Utah. On into round one of the playoffs, he's either win or go home. Oh, man, Bones Baduki went and made a tackle, but they still got the first down. But on third and goal, he blitzed and hit that quarterback. How did he get that pass off? That's unbelievable. That's some Patrick Mahomes stuff. But bam, he laid Bones Baduki the ninth out, and Bones didn't like that at all. But he wasn't in his zone, and what was Bones doing? It looks like he's trying to go home. Being in the playoffs, Bones Baduki the ninth is on the big stage, so you can't mess up. These coaches will take those offers back. But on first and ten, he will go give me that. He will intercept that ball. Bones Baduki the ninth, he will try to return. Turn it juke juke. Oh my god, he will get brought down. I'm not gonna lie to you. This game, Bones was all over the field, but on third and seven, he let up a big game, but he went and wrapped and rolled for the tackle. He got a fired up, so hopefully he's on his toes now. But he blitzing. Oh my god, that's how you get somebody behind for a tackle for loss. But on third and five, this wide receiver running deep in Bones. What you gonna do? He will intercept that ball and he will get brought down on site. But he gets player of the game with two interceptions, and oh my god, Bones Baduki tonight picks up a dream come true offer from Georgia. On into our next game against 7-0 Roseville. These boys don't know what it feel like to take an L, so we gonna give it to them. And on second and inches, Bones Baduka the ninth run all the way across the field to make a tackle. And on third and four, he ran the route for this wide receiver. One hand interception! And as you can see, we get back up that field. Juke Juke break one tackle, and he will get brought down. But on second and ten, as you can see, they have a read option, and Bones Baduki will catch him and bam him. Oh my god. But on second and ten, he come down hard and bounce the quarterback. He's not playing. But on fourth and six they threw it his way again and almost had another interception but bones baduki that night is now a five-star recruit ends the game off of four total tackles and gets an offer from wisconsin on into round three of the playoffs we get our rematch against lapente and on third and five they get a first down but i bam him early on and bones baduki made him fumble that ball and he gets on and recovered and said <laughs> it's mine but on first and ten as you can see he was sitting in man to man but bam he's not playing this game he said he wants revenge but on first and goal he's sitting in his own and bam this quarterback's gonna feel him every time but on third and goal he's sitting in his own again and his quarterback got lucky he ran in for a six but on first and ten he's sending man to man and he will wrap and roll this quarterback but on third and four he comes down real hot i don't know what he was doing the wide receiver is wide open bones but dookie the knife what are you doing they go all the way for six bones let his team down we go on and lose in the playoffs so our season is over but bones but dookie knife picks up an offer from west virginia but now he is faced with the biggest decision of his life. Where is he gonna go? Bill Bones, Baduki the Knight, follow the tracks of his brother, or will he surprise you guys? Drop in the comments down below, where do you think he will commit to?